friends, Ellie and I. I almost called you Michael. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the man of the house. Again. Ellie and I just woke up. We are in Sonoma County, Yay. which is my hometown, and honestly, one of my favorite places on earth. So, we stayed at my dad's house last night because we have a long drive. So we wanted to wait till the morning. Um, it was daytime, a little bit safer. Just gonna make breakfast, pack up, and then head out. But we're really proud of our sleep scores. Oh my gosh, yeah. Let's let's show them. Oh my gosh, Ellie beat me by three points. <laughs> she got a 96 optimal. How did 10 I hours and 12 minutes of sleep. <laughs> How did I always sleep so well with Daisy. I don't know what it is. I think I just feel like you feel safe. almost just killed us. No. Yes. No. She almost missed her exit. And then I zoomed yeah, right Yeah, but we were like it. already off the road, like off the part where it starts to go over. <laughs> almost hitting the damn sign. But we did it. We're on our way to the coast. We're super excited. There's like this really cute coastal town um, in Sonoma County. And we're gonna go stay up there for about a week. It's one of my favorite places ever. I feel like when I grew up here, I really took the landscape and the beauty of the land for granted just because that was what I was used to is like the norm. And then you go out and you move other places and you see other ways of life. And I'm like, wow, I, don't, I really didn't know what I had. We just got to the B&B. &B. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. We're tucked in the middle of the forest and the smells are just so incredible. All the noises of the birds and little animals, even the noise when you walk on the ground, the sun. I just got to dinner. We're super excited. We've been to this place a couple of times and the food is really good. I'm gonna show you a little fit check. I have this Daniel Guizo, I think, dress. I think it's from there. I'll check later. Um, and then I have Ellie's little vintage riding boots and this cute vintage Fendi.
head to the lodge now to get a little bit of work done. I'm gonna order a little bit of lunch. I am hopping back on the Candida diet just because I kind of had a little whatever I wanted in LA and I feel like I just want to really make sure that my body is ready to go back to a normal diet and for some reason my intuition is telling me that I still need to do it for a little bit. So I'm hopping back on that. We're going to go to the lodge, do some work, and then go to the grocery store to get some candy to save food. And then probably the beach. A little OOTD before we go. This Aritzia um, little onesie. And then I have a little green jacket underneath. It's from Brandy. Then this is a thrift that I believe I found on Grailed. Beanie, Arteryx. And then for my shoes i have my solomons um i always get asked which versions these are xt6 gore-tex i love these ones i think the style is so cute and sporty and then i just have like regular scrunchy white socks i know you showed me your affection but I was looking for perfection So I moved on and on and on to someone new As if no one knew what I was going through I know you think I'm just pretending And that I can't rewrite the ending But to move on It is about 5 p.m. and we're gonna go to the grocery store and get some candy to save groceries. I feel like that diet really helped me so much. Like I was editing my vlogs and I literally can see like my energy just completely change just from doing this diet. And I feel like I just went overboard in LA and have kind of had whatever I wanted. So I'm gonna go back on it. We haven't even checked out yet. <laughs> from the grocery ellie is being a sweet angel and making me some dinner um i don't know what's wrong with me i kind of do maybe and my aura ring told me that i slept an hour and 50 minutes last night and it like told me i was up like you know at like four and six and whatever and i was like i don't remember waking up like there's no way i was awake during that time there's no way I got an hour and 50 minutes. Like, it literally asked me, like, oh, did you take a nap? And, like, no, that was supposed to be my night's sleep. Um, so, being said, I, like, don't really feel that good. And I really do think it's probably because I wasn't sleeping. Like, when I don't sleep, I get, like, a tummy ache. I don't know if anyone else does. I feel like I'm the only person that, that happens to. Because anyone I ask, they don't get it. I also have a little pimple brewing right on my cheek. A little scary just because i feel like i've made so much progress um so i'm really gonna take that candida diet seriously which is kind of hard when you're traveling you kind of have to like pre-make food i feel like so yeah i'm just gonna have to be really careful with what i eat because i really don't want to feel like crap again because that diet really helped me so much and it, like gave me so much hope for feeling healthy again so i don't want to lose that I'm going to shower, get ready for bed, eat dinner, and then we're going to make um, Candida Safe chocolate covered strawberries, and then we're going to watch Twilight.
So I was just using the Dyson Airstrait on my hair and Ellie's never used it before. Never. So I was gonna teach her. So now you're gonna part your hair. Like like from probably above your ears. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna go. Yo, to I don't know how to do anything hair. with my hair. You're like gonna separate your hair. Oh there you go. Okay. I understand. And then you're gonna give me this. I see. Clip this up so that you can accurately get this. So, turn it on. It's kind of Okay. On. Okay, I'll, I'll do the first one for you. I'm gonna grab your brush. Okay, so you're gonna take your brush mm -hmm. and you're gonna take this. I'll just push your head as possible. And you don't squeeze it too tight, otherwise you can burn your hair. And you don't want to go over one piece of hair too many times because you can burn it. Yeah. So you, then you just switch to another part. Like do it maybe two or three times on one. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> so long. So dude. long. It looks so pretty. Whoa. See? I might have to go over yeah. your waist a little bit more. Yeah. So that's kind of the gist of it. Brush at the same time. And then you can keep the hair up with that, you know? Brush this way? Yeah. Or whatever way is comfortable and natural for you. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Here's your brush. brush. Here's your strand of hair. I'd go under, then take your non-dominant hand. <laughs> Dominant hand. You see where the air is coming out those holes? Yeah. You want to make sure that is away from your head. Okay. So you're like this. And then after and you're no. halfway through, pick it up and then go over. Okay. I see you. I understand you. <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you, Ellie. Ellerton. My hand, Ellerton's coming out. <laughs> Away from me. Yeah, no. No, 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 that's correct. That's no, yeah. The mirror's kind of hard. Okay, halfway through, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. You did it! Good job, buddy! Hey, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Like faster, pick it up! Yeah, like you gotta pick it up when that Dyson is halfway through your hair. <laughs> oh, you gotta okay. pick up the brush. Yeah, the brush. Pick it up with the brush. Now you're gonna pick up the there speed. You go, I'm yeah. like, I can pick it up! <laughs> I love hustle! walk and we are about to hop on a call with our graphic designer super excited making some progress um then after that i think we're gonna head to like this cute little lodge that's nearby and we're just gonna do some computer work i need to edit my la vlog which that will already be up by the time you're seeing this video so if you haven't seen that go check it out hello hi nick so do you want to take us through kind of yeah, let me uh, share my screen here. So the reason why I did the 
three, which I know it would make more sense for it to be two. I feel like we're finally like nailing down yeah. the brand and what we want it to look like. Bye, Bye. have Thank a good you. one. Thank you. Beeswax cream has olive oil, beeswax, propolis, um, and mystique oil. So I've been doing that and it actually has really been helping. And it kind of like makes it look really nice too. And since I have such like a wavy, like frizzy, natural hair texture, I feel like this really helps kind of like calm it down and give it more of that like weight to it so it's not as like fluffy and everywhere. Um, and then it also moisturizes. It's a whole tip. cozy and comfy and I feel like me and my friends have already made such sweet memories here um I know don't you guys like not want to leave yeah I, I don't even want to get out of the bed to get ready I know I don't think you we are gonna go ride horses and one of my friends from high school that I used to hang out with all the time is actually giving us a tour Yay. and we're doing like a little beach thing and I'm really excited about this because I've always had such a love and connection to horses. I just never grew up with them. And so I'm hoping that this is like a little gateway for me to start um, riding them and to start learning about them and see if like I want to get one myself. Um, but I want to make sure that I like take a lot of classes and like make sure that I'm sure about this. Um, just because I've my whole life like I've always been friends with people that have horses just like naturally and I've always just had such a love and connection so we're gonna go do that I hope that I get a painted horse that is like my favorite for some reason I have a soul tie to painted horses I don't know why um so I'm gonna get ready try and cover up this giant monster actually he's not a monster we'll call him a friend maybe he'll be nicer to me I've actually put some Arnica gel on it because I looked it up and I, it said that that will help with like swelling of pimples and stuff um, and like speed up the healing process so let's hope that that works. And then I'm also going to put some tea tree oil on it because I just popped it so I need to kill all the bacteria that may go in. Oh gosh. Natalie is literally a lip genius like I don't know if you remember but they look so much better than before since I completely dissolved had a fresh slate for her and now I feel like they just look so good with what my natural lip was before and like 
when I talk, I feel like they look more natural. Where before, I felt like they kind of like hung low right here. And that like the top just like was heavy. Just because I had a few people's work in there. And I feel like just having one person's expertise, their little art form like in your lips, is like, it's everything. So that was a really good decision, even though it was fucking painful as shit. I'm really happy. They really look really good. 10 out of 10. Natalie at Eye Glow. Okay, so I have the best tip for mascara getting on your eyelids or under your eyelids, like I was saying earlier. And an old friend told me this, but you take like a little spoolie and you just like lightly go like this to like get it off. And it doesn't ruin your makeup. And it doesn't like smudge it everywhere to where you have to restart. So I do that. even if it gets like under, I'll just go really lightly. So we are actually going to the Redwoods first because our course bed rating is, I think it's at four or something. So we have a little bit of time. And my favorite um, woods that I used to go to when I was younger, like anytime I'd have a bad day, I would just like go to the Redwoods and I would just kind of ground myself and I feel like it always calmed any worries I had. Um, this would just be like the place that I'd go to and it would just take all my stresses away. It is called Armstrong Woods and it is the most beautiful Redwood forest. It feels like this little fairy land. It is like so silent in this forest you just feel so safe the ground is like so soft where you can literally like lay on it um and the smells are just the best so we're gonna go there before we horseback ride and i wanted to show you a little ootd before we go so this top is skims and it's kind of like this navy um dark blue purpley gray um and then these pants are these Vintage Columbia pants. I think they're Columbia. Um, yeah, vintage Columbia. Super cute. They kind of are like a boot straight leg. And then I have my favorite Solomons ever. I get asked about these all the time. This is the XTX Gore Tex. I love them. I just got them in a light blue, but I think these are these are my faves. We the just got so to time. right next to Armstrong Woods and we're gonna get a little matcha at our favorite little coffee shop. We're so excited.
So we're gonna get a little bit of food in. Got to the horseback riding location. Um, we got here a little bit early, so just waiting. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you my fit because I wanted to change it to more like horse appropriate. But anyways, I have this like little sweater from Ellie. This hat at your leisure. It's like a little cute camo vibe. This is actually Ellie's mom's vintage belt. It's so cute. And then I have some old luckies. And then I got some boots that I think I found. I think they're vintage finds. We're currently reenacting Twilight scenes from Twilight because we've been watching the Bella. movies. <laughs> Bella. I'm Bella. Edward. I'm clumsy. I'm not scared. You better hold on tight, spider monkey. <gasps> <laughs> No, this random dog just came and hi. ran up to say hi. Hi, baby. Hello. They were just on the side of the highway. <laughs> you know, I go, hi, Daisy. Hi. I'm so happy. Me too. I want a horse so bad. I know, I love them. We'll have to ride when we get home, too. Our next thing. We should make it our next thing. Literally, this is better than pottery. Horses all the way. He's so happy. I love do it before I do my makeup to this morning so I didn't end up doing it last night but anyways I am gonna be using this um, Cora Organics turmeric scrub honestly I have noticed big changes in my skin when I started using this so I've been using it for a few weeks now and it does leave your skin with a little bit of like a red mark but that supposedly is normal because I guess it's like um increasing the blood flow on your face but I definitely have noticed like some of my acne scars going away and then less texture which is always nice so I definitely think it's helping like smooth out my skin and get me through like some of my breakouts oh my gosh my goal is so funny every time I put this mask on right, he goes um, bubby did you poop you on yourself yeah no, Michael. Why I did not poop on myself. Like <laughs> okay, let's hear him say that. So I'm just going to let this sit for like, usually I do like 5 to 10 minutes because I have sensitive skin. It says you can go up to 15 minutes, but since I am a very sensy girl, I do 5 to 10. This is the Core Organics Turmeric. You should try it. It's really good. Hi, Daisy's vlog. <laughs> Were it Sephora or like online? Um, um, I don't know. I don't think they have Cora Sephora. Oh, but you can get it online. It's Miranda Kerr's friend. Oh, that's sweet. I want to try that mask later. It smells nice. Yeah, you can do it tonight if you want. Just finishing up my makeup. Um, She's so pretty. Me? Yeah. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um, just finishing my makeup. We're about to go to a cute coffee shop um, nearby, and it's kind of like a foggy, moody vibe. So it's like this little coffee shop in the fog, like vibes. Um, anyways, yesterday was literally the most magical day, and I think I said this earlier, but like growing up. I was always obsessed with horses, always like wanted to grow up with them. And I always like had friends who had horses just because I thought like 
it's just so cool like i don't know if you know how to like take care and like ride a horse it's just one of the cool things um and i just feel like the animal is so like spiritual and just so easy to connect with um and so yesterday was like so much fun for me and i cannot believe i ran with it like i was so scared to like run off with a horse i'm like oh my god i'm gonna fall off but it was honestly actually the most like natural thing like i don't know it's like i just like knew what to do up there ellie too ellie was doing good yeah it was so much fun and i think that ellie and i are gonna like take some lessons back in nashville um just because i feel like i still should like learn a little bit more before i d decide to go head first and go and buy a horse even though like i want to do that and i've already been looking at horses online well daisy hadn't even buckled her seatbelt in the car and she's already googling horses literally <laughs> on her way back like i'm on the horse looking for horses <laughs> <laughs> and i tend to be like that when i'm like like i'm zero or a hundred like if i want it i want it um and you execute it though too you're good at following through thanks <laughs> My aunt um, also has horses and she lives in Nashville and her husband, my uncle, um, he's a real life cowboy. Like he breaks in horses, he trains them. You have so, an aunt in Nashville? Yeah, I do. Oh. East okay. Nashville, yeah. I know, right? Dallas' mom? No, my mom's sister, my mom's half sister. Oh. Crazy story, my mom didn't even know that my aunt existed until oh. she was like 30, three or something and she was like hey i think we're sisters oh. and and that's how they met like no like my mom has like nine siblings like a couple of them she hasn't even met like randomly my grandpa would be like hey you have a brother and he's 30 years old like crazy anyways long story short um i really want a horse and it's something i've always like dreamed of and i always thought that <laughs> because i didn't grow up with horses that i could never have one i could never like own one but that's not true so i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna go after the stream that i've always had um and my dream horse is a painted palomino they are so beautiful so it's like the horse in the movie oh, spirit that was like my favorite movie growing up and it's the girl it's horse it's the girlfriend i think they're so beautiful and i feel so connected to that kind of horse so i'm gonna give it a shot just got dressed to go get some coffee probably not getting coffee i'm probably gonna get matcha because i'm doing my candida diet again and when you're doing a candida diet you can't have caffeine except for matcha so do a little OOTD got this may the forest be with you I'm not a Star Wars fan but Molly Michael's sister and her soon-to-be husband are big Star Wars fans so when I saw this hat I thought of them but it's like them mixed with me because I love the forest <laughs> so I thought it was cute but anyways I got these hoops I think I got them from goop I don't really remember um and then i have this little top i think this top is joa brown and then i have this cozy big jacket i got it from urban outfitters i'm pretty sure and then these pants they're green i got them from grail they're like these vintage nike track pants and then i have some mugs Hi friends, it is our last day in Sonoma. I am so sad, but I am ready to be back with Michael and with the dogs. Right now we are making our way to the beach. I thought it'd be fun to go and eat some food down there and just kind of spend our last day. We got these cute like sleeping bags that you can put your arms through, like you can wear it. It's really cool. Um, so we're just gonna go do that and hang out.